how to remove the Citron C3, DS3, C4, DS4 glove box. I'm only going to demonstrate on the C3 and the C4, but you will see it's very similar to each other and to the other vehicles. The C4 glove box removal is at a minute 50. To show you the C3 glove box removal or DS3, very similar. To the bottom, there is a cover. Remove these clips over here, these three. And underneath, there will be two screws, generally torque screws. One over here and one to the other side. Remove both of these screws. Next, to the side on this trim, we will remove this trim. It will be the exact same idea as a DS3. You just need to look for these hidden screws. Over here there is one. Even if it's not identical, the idea will be very similar. Next, this cover, fuse cover, we will remove and we will detach the diagnostic plug. And then we'll remove these torque screws. Some glove boxes have courtesy lights, which is demonstrated how to remove in the C4 glove box. So this video is giving you an idea of removing all of these glove boxes as they're very similar. You will see on the C4 glove box, if you look, it is very similar in the positions of screws and then get in between the glove box and the dash and then pull it out of position. It's held on by clips. You can see over here, these ones. Next is a C4 glove box removal. Starting off underneath the glove box, there is a cover which is held on by three clips. Remove these clips with a clip remover Once the clips are off, the cover will come out quite easily. And underneath this cover, there are two torque screws, one on either side, one to the left and one to the right. Remove both the torque screws. When you remove the torque screws, open the glove box and on the inside, there is another clip to the back of the glove box on the inside. Remove the inner courtesy light with your a tool. You'll need to get in from that side as there's a clip on that side and then unplug the light. Remove this, the trim onto the side of the glove box. Now on the inside to the top, there are three torque screws. Remove these three torque screws. And then go get in between the glove box and the dash, and then it will come off. Go along with your hands. I don't recommend using a flat mill screwdriver as you do not want to damage the dash or the glove box. Thank you for watching. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.